This one's going to be on an updated video. Um, I did a video on Kaba in the past, but uh, their new version, they have, um, well, they got rid of all the command line flags, and they're just using configuration files. And uh, this time, I'm going to set it up to use with Pulse Audio. And it's actually a little bit simpler than uh, before. You have to do like, some goofy shit, but now um, much simpler with the configuration files. So I'll show you how to set it up here. But this is what it does if you've never seen it before. Um, this time it's just going to detect whatever it's coming out of your speaker. So if I'm playing a song here, right, in Seamless, and I just type in Kava, you'll see that uh, we'll wait till it stabilizes here. But um, it'll detect whatever it's, you know, coming out of your speaker, and it'll play, um, you know, whatever it is so that's matching to it. So it can be your music player, it can be your video player, it can be uh, sounds from, you know, watching from your browser, like YouTube videos or something like that. And this is what it'll look like. Look at that. Right. So it's playing the music. Sorry, I can't play the music because, uh, you know, YouTube copyrights and shit like that. But that's what we're going to do when I set it up. All right. We'll pause this here. And how do you do this? Uh, make sure you have, what was that one? Kava, uh, what was that, 0 0.4 or higher? Because um, in this version, uh, let me see here, I'll do the help page here. Right, I'll say like um, in you know four zero point four or higher, uh, they'll use the configuration file, so they don't have any more um, command line flags. I mean, they have two here, but before they had way more. Um, now you just point it to the config or you print the version. And that's it. Everything else is done in your configuration folder here. So that's what we're gonna do when I set it up to use with Pulse Audio. Uh, I don't really use also you know for this so um, and most people are using pulse audio anyways so I'll show you how to set that up here <clears throat> if I remember correctly let me see here so first thing you want to do is open up your Kava configuration files and in here they have this thing called uh, method uh, pulse um, it's commented out but you want to you know delete the the semicolon in front of it or whatever and you want to use pulse right and as far as the source, there's two ways to do this. I like to do it by name. Uh, you could do it by number too if you want, but by name is, um, I guess, more permanent. Uh, you know, in the numbers, it might uh, change when you reboot. The, the computer might assign a different uh, number to that device. So you want to do it by name like I did here, all right? And the way that you get this uh, information how do you get this fucking information? I think it was uh, PA. There we go. So we're going to do a pack MD and we'll list out all the source. And we're just going to opt out the information that we need. We just need the index. We need the name and a little description of what it is. Right. So this is just the command that we're going to use here. And basically, let me uh, zoom out a little bit here. Uh, basically, you know, you want to look for either your built in audio here. Or whatever you're using I know it's my built-in one here and you just want to select either the number right if you want to do like the number um, then you can do that like number five or whatever but like I said I'm doing the, the name so that's what we do here uh, the name here and I know this one mine is uh, this also blah 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 monitor here and uh, that's what I put into here and now, um, even if I reboot it, it should detect uh, the name, uh, and I'll use that always as my method of the source. Okay, and that's pretty much it. That's how you would do it for uh, Pulse Audio, really. Um, they said to use uh, was that auto? Auto doesn't really work. Um, you know, I tried that shit, didn't, didn't work anything. And all these other information, I don't know. It didn't really help me out, like to to uh, figure out how to do it. So I, I think they should update this uh, information how you would do this here, all right? But anyways, I figured out, and this is what you do here. Just uh, assign the, the the name of it, all right? And if it's not the right source, just try a different one until you get the right, uh, you know, one. So just you know, trial and error. Uh, if you're if you don't know which one it is, just try uh, different ones or different numbers or different names, so on and so forth. And that's how you will set it up. Uh, you save it now. And then, uh, you know, you can go back to here and play any source of music or audio that you want. And it will show up, uh, you know, in the Kava here. 
Yeah, let's play that again here. All right. Uh, another thing is, uh, I don't think they said this in the, the man page or the help page, but you can actually hold uh, either left or right arrow, and it will actually zoom in or zoom out on, um, I don't know what you call these, these bars, the sound bars, right? So you can zoom in and zoom out if you go left or right arrow. And you can do up and down too, like up, it will actually uh, increase it, but it actually will stabilize it down um, again after you release it. So I don't know, those are the arrow keys that you can do in here, right? But uh, that's it, you can zoom in, zoom out, like I said, uh, using your arrow keys. Um, anything else I need to say? Oh yeah, another thing is, uh, I, I'm not sure they had this last time, but you can actually change the color. So let's say I'll close out of that, go back to our configurations here, and we have, like, uh, what is that one? There we go. You can actually change the colors now. So you have uh, different options of red, green, yellow, magenta, cyan, white, blue, black. All right. So we're just going to change the uh, foreground color. We'll make another one here. And we'll say, we'll change this to red to match my um, CMOS theme or something. All right. And now, let's see if I do this here. All right. The, the, the bars or whatever, it'll change to red and so on and so forth. Um, so that's how you do this. Now, like I said, it doesn't have to be just your, uh, your Seamus player or whatever other player. You can use uh, something else. Let's say I quit out of this and I'll use piano bar as another example or something. All right, look at that. It'll play piano bar or whatever other sound that's coming out of your speakers. Um, it will detect it and it will, you know, do this thing for the visualization of your sound. Anyways, that is Kava 0.4 or higher. Uh, they got rid of all the command line flags and just use the configurations now. Anywho, much simpler to set up with Pulse Audio this time around. That'll be it for this one.